Uh, there's a few exciting topics, if you ask me. Uh, for us personally, the highlight was that we were able to share our experience and our background into instant payments. And as you know, with the introduction of PSD2 and sort of the general market trends that we are running across Europe, uh, instant payments are going to pick up. So to share what we have accrued as an experience in Asian markets with local payment solutions and to explain to people how that is going to take its, I would say, its growth into Europe was quite exciting. I also participated to a few sessions like uh, the whole uh, blockchain grow and cryptocurrencies. It was kind of interesting to see how people create I would say on relatively small events like with festivals and so they create their own currency for the event itself which was pretty exciting uh, so yeah generally speaking the significance is quite high because if you look at paysec so we are a an asian based payment solution provider uh, like I said, we focus on alternative payments, on instant payments. We also do card processing. We're part of a larger group called Sapaya. We have several brands under that group, but we're mainly Asian. We have decided two months ago to now start growing our business outside of the Asian boundaries. We start looking at Europe. We set up an entity in Europe. We're going to look at South America. So for us, this event is quite important because it's kind of like uh, a stepping stone to make ourselves a little bit more visible. Uh, we have a growth in our strategy as to how we want to expand the business. Uh, so it's all about sharing more with the people on this event what we do. So it's, it's a very important uh, attendance for us. Well, I don't like to speak about issues. I, I, I tend to think that every issue or challenge is a potential opportunity. Um, I think what has been very interesting for us, and I'll give you a straightforward example, when you deal with Asian markets, it's a very fragmented space. We also know that in some Asian countries, they hold a very large population, but not everybody has a bank account. So if you look at Indonesia, uh, it's 260 million people. It's the fourth largest population in the world, yet less than 20% of the people have a bank account. So you need to understand how you can tap into these consumers and convert mainly cash into a currency that they can use online for all sorts of purposes. And that has been kind of like an interesting challenge to see, okay, how do you build something or how do you team up with the right companies to capture that moment? And there's plenty of examples uh, across that space. So for us, I'd say on one side, the challenge becomes an opportunity because we learned from that. And now we're ready to basically start offering similar services across, uh, across Europe. First of all, I think with the introduction of PSD2 coming, which is knocking on our doors, we believe that the, the regulatory changes are going to act a little bit as a catalyst. So everybody's speaking about it. Clearly the opening up of the, the bank APIs, teaming up with third party processors, looking for new opportunities, it's going to be a big thing. Personally, at, and, and at PaySec, we believe that you don't necessarily need the regulator to give you that push. It helps to have the right framework. But I think it's also more the industry growing more mature, opening up, being less secular, and teaming up with companies that might do something completely better than you do or that you used to do. So going forward, I would say we will see a change, a more open culture, uh, forming more alliances. I think we will definitely see a growth in people using more instant payments. So payments that are on the go because of the instant gratification they have on their screens. Last but not least, we believe that cryptocurrencies will definitely start making their entry from the ground up, not from the top down, but more from the ground up with very small but quite attractive uh, initiatives.